So is it any wonder people are afraid of technology? Technology! Bitcoin's sitting pretty at 4,100. Now, Bitcoin technical analysis is actually getting really silly. We're seeing a lot of big number bias. Let's break down why. I mean, technical analysis being silly? I mean, what? We've never heard of such a thing on this channel. On Coindesk, we have the example. If Bitcoin moved up 2.5% to 4,200, this would be a flag breakout. However, if it was to move down 5% to 3,900, this would be a bearish reversal. There's no pleasing some people. Can't we all just chill? That's either a testament to Bitcoin stability or the silliness of short-term technical analysis. Speaking of short-term technical analysis, let's do that right now with basic attention token up another 20% today, nearly 30 cents at one point. Very nice. It actually did manage to break the resistance we talked about yesterday, which has not been able to do before for a very, very long time. Well, Satoshi valuation at least. But whenever a coin pumps quickly, it means a lot of people are incentivized to dump because they got some gains, they don't want to miss out. If, heaven forbid, it should dip, but if the gain should uh, cease as well. So this would inevitably lead to a correction, which happens to every coin at some point, except Binance coin. Damn you. Still, it's a healthier pump than we normally see from a lot of things which are FOMOing in on speculation. Here we have actual interest over time peaking for Brave Browser, which means adoption. And I did sign up for my, I did sign up for rewards, guys. Chill. <laughs> do not, do not donate to me. I do not need it, but very much appreciate it. The, 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 the thought, not the donation. Thank you. Still, it's a scary time to FOMO in on what essentially is an all-time high for Satoshi valuation. But if you really believe in the project, then to dollar cost average is still the best, it seems. Non-financial advice after I just gave it. Um, as no one is quite sure where it'll go next. Let's talk about what is happening with Tezos, peaking at over 20% gains earlier today. Noise, nearly a dollar. We need to go back to March 20th to get a bigger picture. Here we can see, um, I'm just gonna pick it out very quickly. Protocol upgrade was enabled, which would enable more computation and blocks and operations, meaning that not only the maximum number of transactions per block could increase, but also the complexity of transactions, as well as this future developments point to privacy features being implemented on Tezos. There are plans to tokenize a billion dollars of real estate assets on Tezos. This would have been huge for Ethereum. The company behind this is SEC regulated and were originally going to go with the Ethereum blockchain, moved over Tezos. Didn't really explain why, just said some uh, political fluff, fluff, but we know the real reason scalability until Ethereum does something in that area, it is going to lose value. Um, not, not price, I mean, potential business. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But lastly, and most importantly, probably today with Tezos is this guy. Now, every time I see this picture, I can just imagine the sweat emoji starting to fall. He does look quite nervous there. This time, the picture is not about some controversy, although there was a little bit, but anyway. Coinbase Custody is offering staking services to institutional clients, starting with Tezos. So this is pretty cool. The cold storage funds will be secured and insured in case of theft, which is a huge deal, but also being allowed to stake, or in Tezos's case, referred to as baking. This is Coinbase Custody though, not retailcoinbase.com. So uh, a listing, May or may not come, but probably. The Coinbase needs the money, it seems. Pretty big for Ethereum. You can tell that they're uh, ramping this up for the eventual day that Ethereum goes proof of stake. Ravencoin. Now, whenever I look at this chart of the past three months, 500% gains. I feel bad for Bitcoin. It's not Leviosa, it's Leviosa. <laughs> Within that same time frame, Bitcoin struggled to move anywhere at all. Although it was certainly better than a chart like this, which did happen to some alts. So there is that for Bitcoin. So what's going on? Well, it's been dubbed the flappening. It is now one of the best performing digital assets that are very, very liquid. The past month. This past month. This past month has been one of...
According to its white paper, Ravencoin is a use case focused blockchain. It's much better that they actually focus on doing something rather than not. Users can spend Raven tokens to create and trade any sort of tokenized asset. Over its short lifespan, Ravencoin has garnered support from over 15 companies, with some using Raven to tokenize real world assets, one blockchain nonprofit using it for voting and participation, another firm using it to build a decentralized web, and the notable venture capital Medici Ventures completing a $3.6 million security token transfer using Raven alone. As we can see, altcoin season very much continues and on the wheel of fortune, the flavor of the month this month is not privacy, it's not staking, uh, there is an argument to be made for that, but it is tokenizing. At least for today, crypto moves really fast. In the news generally, top of our cryptocurrency, where's my Tesla? Justin Sun refuses to honor competition winner. This is more of a news piece um, suitable to meme review, just embarrassing for the whole space. So stupid, I can't even bring myself to read it. Also, guess what? Craig Wright is officially coming out as a fully fledged parasite. He is hiring a lawyer for a position which is essentially trademark abuse, where the main revenue stream for his company is designed around suing people. Very nice. Today's video is 1440p. I apologize for uploading the last couple in 720p. Basically, here's the problem. I had a terrible line out here. I was uploading with... Uh, 0.89 up okay that's pretty bad it is now 19 i've got a dedicated line out here this box 19 up so uh yeah the, is it the, is it cool i don't know this that camera is actually 1080 this one i don't know what's going on with my hair you see i just wake up like that no video tomorrow, as I think I'm off to a music concert. Um, Panic at the Disco. Not necessarily my first choice of music, certainly not my first choice to go and see live. However, my wife really likes them. So we're going to go and see them the second time within six months. So you guess you could say I'm a huge Brendan Yuri fan. To be fair, the guy can sing. <laughs> Leave a like if you are a fan of this video. Me, Brendan Yuri, Craig Wright, no, uh, Turtles. Bye for now.